Hey YouTube, welcome back to Part Time Fab. So today is the third installment of our ultimate small welding table build. Uh, as you can see, we've got some bracing on it here on the bottom. Uh, we're, we've got a piece of uh, diamond plated steel to go in to the bottom here. I, I was really wanting to use some expanded metal, but um, I found some diamond plate for not a lot of money and I kind of had it on hand, so that's, that's kind of what we're going to go with. But um, we've got some welding to do. Uh, we've got to get this table off here. That's going to be a chore in itself. And uh, it looks like it's developed a little bit of surface rust, so we'll get some uh, sanding paper out and give it a once over. And it is raining today, so I'm, I'm not going to do any spraying today, but hopefully in the coming days I'll, I'll get, get, some uh, get some paint out and spray some on this, and we'll get some video of that. And uh, you'll see progress as I go through. Uh, I don't think we're going to be into a fourth uh, installment of the ultimate welding table, but uh, you never know. I was hoping for three, but uh, it's, 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 uh, it might be four. You never know. But uh, I hope today's audio is good. I got a new, uh, a new mic that I'm testing. I hope it does well. Uh, so that's kind of a shop update, I guess. Uh, updated equipment for the shop to record some videos so uh, that's kind of where we're at right now I guess with that uh, let's get started on our table Okay, now that I'm officially burning up, it's time to get this jacket off, get this off of there, finish welding it up. Let's get to it. Okay, so now that we've got the table welded, the next thing I'm going to do is this is the piece of diamond plate for the bottom, the under shelf, so to speak. This is where you prop your feet, you know, while you're welding. So um, what I've got to do is just look that I found this piece and hadn't intended to use it for this purpose, but if, uh, if I had found it a week before, uh, I, or a couple of days before, I welded these um, the cross members in. I could have fit this in without cutting it, other than the corners. 
but we'll deal with it. This piece was actually cut in a, uh, a shear, so it's, it's, it's pretty straight, it's ready to be used, except it's got to be cut just a little bit on the edge. And let me get you a close-up of that. Okay, I hope you can see that. Now, this plate, what I'm going to do is, I, I don't have a plasma torch, but I'm going to uh, make up some type of jig that will sit here, and it will hold my torch steady enough to be able to cut I mean, I have to cut the smallest sliver off of this edge up here, like five sixteenths, or, or or maybe like seven sixteenths, half half an inch. I don't I don't think it's half an inch. It's really really small. Uh, matter of fact, I thought I might take a uh, grinder and 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 uh, use a similar type jig to hold it straight and cut along a line and then break it off. But I, I think I want to try to use the, uh, the torch to do this. So what I'm going to do is uh, the next step will be to um, manufacture some type of, of, of device to clamp in place to be able to hold our, our oxyacetylene torch and run it across through there, making a very straight and nice cut. This uh, material is rather thin, so um, it, it might not be the best cut. Matter of fact, this is so thin that I wish I had a, uh, a, one of the metal circular saws. I think uh, Makita makes one that's really nice. I'm not sure what thickness this is, but it's probably eighth inch. I think that saw would cut it real well. So as soon as I get that cut, I will mark out my corners. I know this is not where they go, but just for demonstration. And we'll cut those out. And we'll do that on all four corners. And then of course you see this is pretty rusty. Uh, we'll clean the rust up this weld in to our shelf on the bottom and that leaves us one more thing and that is right over here if you can see it and that's on the table that cut when we bought it that had that uh, slice in it so we got to repair that and I guess soon we get that done this will be ready to prep for paint okay so here we are we're ready to cut some of this down the floor. And what I've devised is nothing new. I've seen it done many times on YouTube. I've basically clamped a piece of square tubing to the table with the diamond plate squeezed in between. Now, what I haven't seen is someone do it with oxy acetylene. I've seen it numerous times done with plasma plate. Never oxy said, I'm sure it'll work. It should work. But, uh, it's new to me. I've never done it this way. I've always done it free But uh, let's give it a try. Not sure if you can see that, but uh, it's very straight. Might have got it just a little too hot while cutting, but for uh, first time, that looks really good. I'm pretty pleased with that. Now we can get it dressed up and uh, we'll move on.
Okay, so we've made it this far. So we've painted the table and we're not yet done. You might ask, why did we paint the table when we're not done welding the table? Well, I was getting some surface rust on the table and I really wanted to get that under control. So I cleaned the table up, got the surface rust off and threw some paint on it, paint and primer. Now I've still got just a little bit of welding to do and basically this is it right here. What we're going to do is I'm going to take this bar stock and we're going to cut it and mark it for this right here. We'll, we'll mark it and drill it and tap it and then a little bit of welding will weld this to one of the legs on the table and then I'm going to attempt to weld this fitting inside this bracket and this will give us our air connection so that's the next step and then we'll get this little piece of bar stock that we'll drill and tap get it welded to the leg and um, then we'll be pretty much done with the build so let's get to it Hey YouTube, so here we are at the end of another build and the table is done. It's as uh, far as I think I'm going to take it. Uh, I did, did remove the power from the plan. Uh, originally I thought I was going to put power on the unit, but um, I got to thinking, you know, if, if I didn't insulate the power good, you know, might have a problem. I don't know. We can always use an extension cord with a little shop such as I've got. But uh, I did get the air put in. So uh, I welded up, as you've seen, I've welded up this little bracket here and bolted it to the side. Worked out real well. Got some paint back on there after we had to clean that off to weld it on. Um, the table's turned out really nice. I am really happy with it. It rolls really well. It, uh, it's not overly heavy. Uh, it is half inch plate, so it's, it is sturdy. Um, it's got a, got a lot of good features. The shelf worked out real well. I, I think I like this shelf better than I would have liked the expanded metal. Uh, I can see things getting hung on the expanded metal when you're maybe trying to get them off of there. Maybe you've got some clamps or something down there and they've, they've went through the holes, but um, this works real well. I haven't bolted this down. Uh, I thought maybe might run some bolts through it, but um, 
I've been rolling this around a little bit and I can hear a little bit of vibration when you roll it around, but um, nothing real bad. It's not tried to jump out of there or anything, so I may not, uh, may not drill any holes in it. Um, might not need to, but um, projects turned out really well. I'll, uh, I'll try to put you a little slideshow or a, a, a walk around over here in the corner so you can see that. But um, everything has turned out really nice, really pleased. Um, I hope you've enjoyed watching this little series. I know it's taken, uh, taken a few weeks to get it done, but uh, we're finally here, finally at the end. And uh, I'm pretty happy. So good table. Uh, I got all the the, the uh, holders back here for clamps. I got the uh, holder back here for the uh, for the angle grinder, or more than one angle grinder if I if I ever get another one. But um, real happy with the way this air coupling turned out. That uh, that's pretty slick. Uh, I'm not sure why I would ever need three, but definitely uh, having this, um, you know, uh, a holes right here to where you can just you know, have something to plug it in and, and go, be uh, be really good. Plus, you're not tugging on a hose all the time. You know, the hose is, is over here. But uh, one more upgrade I might make to this is to have somewhere to uh, hook this. I know you could probably just, you know, hook it right there. Probably that would, uh, that would work pretty well. But what if you just have the hose? So might need something somewhere to just, just hang the hose. But uh, we'll figure that out later. But right now, that works pretty good. Well, uh, I guess uh, look forward to my next video or uh, many more videos. Uh, have uh, lots of lots of uh, projects in mind that we'll be doing. Uh, we will get back to uh, building the race car before long, so uh, be looking for that. Uh, got uh, got a TIG welding video coming out soon. Uh, we've got, um, we now have two vice stands to build, so uh, I'll probably, probably film those. That'll, uh, that'll be coming up. It will be a repeat video, but uh, these uh, vice stands, they're going to be similar but different, so uh, should, be, should be enjoyable to watch. Should be uh, definitely enjoyable to watch and uh, always fun to uh, build and make stuff in your garage. So. But uh, I've enjoyed sharing this with you. And uh, if you like it, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give me a thumbs down. Uh, if you want to uh, leave a comment, do that. Always, uh, always like comments. So um, I guess if, uh, until next time, this is Part-Time Fab. Thanks for watching.